Hi YouTube Spirit here. I'm gonna be showing you a pretty strong team which I found. I played 15 games with this team, testing it, and yeah, I've won every single one of those 15 games. Like my win rate is pretty bad right now because I've been testing with different teams with the with the new Demon Meliodas over the past two days since I got him from the summoning video. Link in the description below. Other than that, for this team, we are gonna be running Green Eskinor, Red Halbrum, and Blue Demon Meliodas with Blue King in the back. We'll be using we'll be using Red Gauter as association for Eskinor, Green Gustav for Halbrum, um, Red Merlin for Meliodas, and and of course Red Dian for King because of the fate. So the food that we'll be using is this. We're gonna be using HP food. Note our 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 team CC is one hundred. 116,324. This will ensure that we always get first turn. The, okay, let me explain how this team works first. Basically, you have Green Eskinor one-shotting either the Blue King or the Blue Demon Meliodas on the enemy side, Red Hellbrim to take away Ultimate Gauge, and Blue King is just there to give that Red Hellbrim the extra HP because Red Hellbrim is super squishy. So we need um, the extra beefiness on our Hellbrum given by the Blue King in the back line. We could be using Green Alien, but Blue King does more than Alien, so I prefer to bring Blue King instead, since even though my Alien is stronger. Okay, we are fighting against a King Brum. And yeah, he had 112k CC. Ho! Oh! His ultimates are maxed! And I can feel the lag, this is a real person! First, we are, we are fighting against a whale! This is a real person, I can feel I can feel the lag. And the fact that we didn't one-shot the king, that means he has full, he has full on cosmetics. The king is most probably now going to heal though. We do not have a cleanser front line, which may be a problem. Ge using using a Galter card, who is he? He's going to invasion arrow the king. Yup, king is going to heal. Is there a double fossilization? No way. Okay, Halbrum's gone. And a tier 3 heal. Damn. Okay, let's swap the Halbrum cards over. Um, use a Hellbrim card to threaten the ultimate, and let's just whack everyone with a Meliodas card. Dang, our first match is against a, a whale. Very unfortunate for us. Okay, he got the king card. Uh, if a Hellbrim gets fossilized here, we are in deep shit. Oh, great. Okay, let's do this. Hopefully you can kill the king. Yeah, this will definitely kill the king. Oh damn it, I should have used Meliodas cards first for for life steal. Oh never mind, we are we are back to full health. That's the that's a 6-6 six, six Gauter ultimate though, which is which is a bit worrisome. The fact that I'm playing against someone who has all 6-6 six, six ultimates, wow. I'm actually I'm actually pretty honored. Bang. Yeah, that's definitely 6-6. Six, six. The only reason why I survived is because of HP food. Oh we got lucky. Okay, let's whack everyone once with Demon Meliodas. Fossilize you and you. There goes Halbrum. There goes Green Merlin. No more cards for you. I wonder if he's gonna surrender. 
Okay, so what we want to do here is not to combine the Demon and the cards. We want to use them separately, and then we use the Hellbrim ultimate. Yeah, this is definitely a real play. I can actually feel the lag when I tap the cards. GG! We beat a whale. Boom! The Surrender coming in. There we go. First game complete. On to our next game. And our next match is against a human team. 105k CC. Okay. Since we are against a human team, uh, that's uh, Darkness Flutters. And we aim and we dump everything on the Escanor. Against a, against a mono human team, I found out that um, it's best to try to um, try to diminish your health via using um, how what's that thing called? Via using the the darkness thingy. And if anything goes wrong, we can use Hellbrim to drain ultimate. That's the power of this team, and he doesn't have a Gota to. Oh, he has a Gota to uh, to uh, attack Silas though. Oh, rip. But we're not we are not relying on we are not relying on our ultimate, that's the thing. So we can use this. Actually let's do this. This and this. We can take the Gota. I think yeah we should be able to take the Gota ultimate no problem with HP food. Not to mention we took a 6-6 six, six counter ultimate last turn. And we and we are getting a lot of demon medals cuts which is very good for us. The corrosion is slowly eating away their health though. And Meliodas is just shredding. If only he didn't attack us. Or if only we had a clen cleanser on our team as well. Oh that goes to our ultimate gauge. And that does no damage, like unlike the last guy who did so much damage. Oh, Gauta. And another and another wave of attacks here. Ugh. You know what? I do not want I do not want the tier 3 out of buff. Or oh, we can just kill him. Nice. That makes things a lot easier. The fact that he cannot he can no longer out the buff. He won't be able to kill any he his he has to kill for my he has to go for kill my demon Meliodas. Which I don't mind because of most of my cards are Halbrum cards. Boom. Okay, he's dead. The next attack should be on my Escanor, I predict. Oh, my Hellbrim! Okie dokie. How much health do you have? Oh god, the lag, the lag. Okay, good. You have 12,000 health, so we can wreck you. Oh no. Target. Okay, wreck you. Um, how much health do you have? You have... Okay, we can kill you. And you. G, G. Boop. And we do major damage to the Merlin. Incoming surrender? Let's see, the incoming surrender should... We should see a concede by our opponent. Unless he wants to get outed by us or not. Well, let's not torture him, let's just end his suffering. Eskinor! Blow this Merlin away elegantly. Boom! G, G! So shit, man. <laughs> I had to. Okay, um, let's go to our next match and let's see if we can win the next match as well. Okay, our next match we are fighting against a uh, Demon Meliodas, Escanor, and Gauta. So since our first move here is pretty interesting to be honest. Okay, let's dump these two cards. 
Oh, did I, I think we are fighting against a bot. Like, I can identify if it's a bot because of how smooth the game is. Yeah, it's too, it's too smooth to be a regular player. It has a bot, unfortunately. Never mind though. Corrosion. Eskinor. And a, not a drain. Nice. So we kill you. And this. Okay, we don't. We can't petrify anybody. Oop. Escanor, no more ultimate. Necrozia isn't hurting us that much. As much as I thought. That's annoying. In case Gauta doesn't die, we are going to hit the Gauta. Ah, uh, please, if only, if only that crit on the Gauta. Whoa, no crits on the Gauta at all. Okay, that was super unlucky of us, but never mind, we got rid of the Gauta and we have, and we have our ultimate with our Demon Medias next turn. Or not, we can, we can, yeah, we do not have, yeah, we definitely have our ultimate. But because of the HP food, we are eating all the hits. Okay, that's game. GG. Boom, that 30k crit. I'm not gonna jump off my chair again, don't worry. Don't worry chair, I won't, I won't torture you anymore. Okay, next match we go. <coughs> okay, we are fighting against a 106k CC King Brum team. And we got the worst possible hand. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, dump this here. Okay, we got king very very low, which is what we normally want to do. Dang. How many medi cards have we got? I honestly want to go for tier 3 corrosion. Okay, let's do this. Okay, king is dead. Next turn we can we can corrode everybody. Then this corrosion is going is going to hurt very badly against them, since it's max max HP. Oh no, ultimate. Okay, let's do this. Corrode, enchant Hellfire Blaze, and drain away your one of your. Yeah, drain away one of your outgage. Let's see how much damage the corrosion does. Boop. We get both Hellbrim's ultimate and... And whoa, we're getting a lot of ultimates. I'm pretty sure a cube is going to drop by the fro from the Merlin. Wait, why are you going for my Meliodas? Not my help. Oh, yeah, okay. Good. That's smart, that's smart. Okay, hopefully this kills all of them. Okay, 
Nice. And the Korod will kill the Mazin next turn. There's no way Mazin can recover, can heal enough from from this. Mazin. I don't think the life steal will be enough. Six thousand life steal and yeah, twelve thousand corrosion damage finishing her off. Tier three corrosion, corrodes off max HP, not current HP. All right, we have just done our four matches, so I'm going to show you how strong this team is. So we are going to be taking a uh, festival coin food instead of our HP food. HP food is optimal for this team because he always grants you the ability to go first. But our CC is very ridiculously high, and I think we we should be able to tank just enough damage from Escanor from our Demon Meliodas in case we fight against the Escanor team to to ensure that we can win with festival coin food. Okay, let's see what we are against. We are against a Jerry Hole. 108k Jerry Hole, wow. I think it's trying to counter the, the blue demon Meliodas. How much health do you have? 70k. Oh god, the lag. Yeah, this this uh, this may be a real person. In fact, I'm very sure this is a real person. I can I can feel the I can feel the latency. Oh wow, look at the cards. Mada! Tier 3 fossilization. Okay, let's do this to you. And let's kill you. There we go. Demon Meliodas now has his ultimate, but it's gonna be drained by the Merlin. Yep, there comes Merlin drain. Good thing we can fossilize the Hellbrim again. And Jericho doesn't do that much damage in, in Ungeared. Jericho does a lot of damage in Ungeared. Okay, let's do the big corrosion. Oh wow, the bleed actually hurts. Okay. Going for my Escanor next. Smart. There comes our king. Okay, I want to do this, this, and this. Oh, we actually kill. GG! I didn't expect to have a mountain to kill, but we did. Alright, as you can see over here, we gained 33 festival coins, so I'm not pulling your leg or anything. This team is just that good. Like, you can even, like, the best team to use if you want to try hard and win is HP food, but you also can use, um, um, coin food if you want. So, yeah. There's also one more thing I want to show off in this video before I end it here. Let's go over to Hall of Fame. This guy over here has no life getting rank 1 in ungeared. So yeah, my biggest flex, rank 1 ungeared. Never doing that again. We you waste so much time and you do and you get the same rewards as as anyone in champion 1. Other than that, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Join my Discord if you want to keep to date on my latest uploads. If you want to join my guild, feel free to join the the, the link is also in the description below. If you like the video, please leave a like, comment if you want to ask me any questions or anything about the team. Subscribe for more awesome content. Other than that, haste.
out. Festival! Yeah. 